সিপিএম এর বর্ধিত কমিটির সভা এই মুহূর্তে বক্তব্য রাখছেন সিতারাম ইয়াচুরি সরাসরি নজর রাখব সাবমিট ইন দ্য লাস্ট সার্কেল কমিটি মিটিং উই ডিসকাস দিস দ্যাট রিপোর্ট উইল বি देयर बिफोर यू আই এম শিওর আই মিন ইট অলরেডি বিন ডিসাইডেড ইন সেন্ট ইউ হ্যাভ দ্য হ্যাবিট অফ ট্রান্সলেটিং ইট না এন্ড এন্ড গিভিং ইট ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু লেটার অন গিভ দ্য কনসেপ্ট হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ সো লেটার অন অনলি সো ইউ ইউ উইল গেট দ্যাট বাট ইন দ্যাট in that process why is modi government doing this and abandoning the independent foreign policy india had scrupulously maintained for the last 70 years now what is the reason behind it and this is something we have to understand in a in a, in a very clear manner that why is India under Modi becoming an integral part of the US imperialist strategy for global hegemony and why are we have it is of a junior partner of US imperialism now behind I want to understand the, in the the actual reason apart from the ideological linkage between zionism and hindutva apart from that there is a big political ideological project the rss project for the very conception of india that is unfolding under modi today in a very very in a very very dangerous manner now what is this what is this political ideological this political ideological is what the rss argued right three ago a century ago 20s as i've always repeatedly said but i think it must be repeated so that it we all internalize it there were three visions that emerged on what should be the character of independent india during the freedom struggle one vision was that given the diversity of india what is india i am a telugu elected from bengal to the parliament my 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 wife is a half muslim and a half hindu a kannadiga mother and a up father well i mean this is india what will be my son I mean I mean I I'm born to a Brahmin caste she's I mean my wife I don't know whether what caste she is also one of my I mean my eldest daughter married a British uh, citizen of French origin so what are, I mean you know what is india if this india has to be kept united only political structure would be political a secular democratic republic that was the mainstream vision that emerged and that was the resolution that was adopted by the karachi and later the rahul aicc sessions which became the foundations and basis for the indian constitution we the communists said what we cannot stop there as a secular democratic republic unless we convert the political independence we get into the economic independence of every individual this this secular democratic republic itself cannot sustain so therefore yes political a, a secular democratic republic but moving towards socialism socialism will have to be the final objective as opposed to this and third vision emerged saying no india should be defined by the character its character should be defined by the religious affiliation of its people thus was born the rss in 1925 with the slogan of hindu rashtra and the muslim league that uh, <clears throat> that advocated an islamic republic which eventually led to the unfortunate uh, division of our subcontinent